Hey everyone, Mike Yates here from BMW Bridgewater. Today I want to show you how to program some coding functions in a 2014 X1 using the BMW Carly app. So let's first start with where the OBD2 port is and how to plug it into the car. So all BMWs have the OBD2 port down in the left foot well and you can see the, the adapter is plugged in down there. The car is running so it's powered and if you want to step inside I'll show you on my phone how to connect up to the uh, adapter and start coding your car. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to the Carly app. I'm going to go to settings and in Wi-Fi you'll see I'm already connected to the Carly adapter but you need to do that first and then I'm going to go and open my Carly app. So first thing we're going to do here this is already connected so I'm just going to go back. You're going to check to make sure that the proper car is identified. This is an X1, it's an E84. It's already connected. If it wasn't, you just hit connect. And for today's video, I'm going to go to coding. So once we go to coding, I'm going to continue to coding. And then I'm going to check coding possibilities. Now this is going to take a little time. It's going to connect to the car and check to see all the ECUs that are capable to be programmed. Okay, so the Carly app came back with eight ECUs that can be programmed. So I'm going to click OK. And these are the different ECUs that we can actually change through the coding system. So the first one I'm going to pick is the Combi. So this is dashboard and cluster. I'm going to read out the Combi and what this is going to do is back up what's existing in the ECU already so that if we have an issue or we do something in coding that we don't like we can revert back to the to the saved backup and we just click OK now what you can see are the different available coding and the first one is digital speedometer which is not active so what that does is that adds a digital speedometer in the cluster so currently you can see we have range till empty there's the blank average miles per hour miles per gallon and that's it so if we make this active after we code the car we'll have an option there and it'll show the vehicle speed digitally so then the next option is digital speedometer correction so all BMWs have a corrected speed and if you'd prefer to have the true speed you can select true speed for either the digital or the analog speedometer on the dash. They're, they're both fa from factory set to corrected. Now corrected speed is actually a little overstated so you're not going as fast as the speedometer is showing you. But like I said you can turn that off. So blank information in the dashboard that's that blank spot that we went past so you can turn that off. And you can activate speed limit warnings the temperature warning is currently not active on this car. The ignition key warning is active. GPS time correction, not active. And you're gonna see things here that, that may not even be available for this particular car. So I'm just gonna scroll through a few of the other options. Daytime running lights are currently active. We can turn those off. Gear shift indicator. So there's a number of coding functions that we have available here. So you can have the gas light, you can change when the gas light comes on. And I'm just gonna code now, because the only thing that we changed was the coding, and I'm gonna click to agree, is the coding for the digital speedometer. And you can see the cluster just reset. It's telling us that programming is active and successful and I'm going to click OK. So we will need to reset the time because the cluster was reset and we may need to shut the car off, let it go to sleep, but I'm going to cycle through and just see if it actually is now showing us. And that's our uh, digital speedometer right there which we didn't have before. So our miles per gallon reset. There's our, I'm sorry, this is actually our, our digital speedometer. 
our blank spot, range till empty, average miles per hour, average miles per gallon, and digital speedometer. And that's it. The car is programmed, coded, and that's how you use your Carly app.